Hi, it's me, Molly here. How are you doing there? I wish that you were doing alright. Well, the reason I write to you is that I've been feeling a little bit helpless in my life recently. I don't know why, but I just keep searching on how to wait to start a vintage wardrobe. You know, I keep searching, searching, and keep searching. Well, I'm also a little bit grateful that I have finally found a way on how to start a vintage wardrobe. And I just hope that you could hear me too. And I wish you the best in your life too. Love, Melody. All right, dear my vintage lady wannabe. So welcome to YouTube with me, Melody today. So today I have got myself a new hairstyle. I'm not sure whether it is in the 60s or the 70s, but it's actually inspired by my favorite singer, Lana Del Rey. Anyway, this is not the focus of this video today because the focus topics of this video today is about how to start a vintage wardrobe. So without wasting any of our time, let's get started. So my first step on how to start a vintage wardrobe is that you have to discover your own personal vintage style. So what does it mean your own personal vintage style is that you have to identify which era you are mostly into it. As we know that we are having a lot a lot of vintage style in this fashion world. For example, we have the 1940s, we have 1950s, which is my favorite period. And also, if you are more into some historical periods like the Edwardian era or the Victorian era or maybe the Legacy era, or maybe you are more into the little bit modern vintage style, which we have the 1980s or 1990s like the rockers we have from here you have to choose which period you are mostly into it and then you only can identify which style you will have to wear as we know that we are going to change our closer to a new one which is a vintage wardrobe from the modern one maybe so basically means that you have to spend a little bit of your money on that so we don't wish that we spent our money by mistake as we are not sure which period or era we are mostly into as an example maybe you bought a, a clothing from the 1980s and after that you realized oh I'm actually not into the 1980s, I'm actually into the 1940s and here you're gonna waste your money so we don't hope that's gonna happen in a way of changing your wardrobe to a vintage one, right? So you have to identify which area you're totally into it and only then you can style yourself After you identify your vintage periods, you have to search for inspiration So this is the second step which is search for your inspiration Thanks to the technologies nowadays, as we are having a lot of social medias nowadays, for me, uh, mostly what, how I search for the inspiration is that I look into social media such as Instagram, which is my favorite, as you can just hashtag winter style and you can find a lot, a lot of winter style in the post. For example, if you are into the 1950s or 1940s like me, you can search for more inspiration in the 1940s or the 1950s style. Actually, you can just type on the Google, you can type as uh, 1940s dresses or 1950s dresses and actually like can pop up everything. So give it a try and see. <laughs> By the way, I would like to share some of my extra tips how do I search for inspiration. Personally, enjoy looking for inspiration from a period movie. Choose to watch the movie which is set in the era according to your preference. For example, if you are into the style which is 1950s or 1940s style, you can choose to watch a movie which is set in that period so that you can search your inspiration and building up your wardrobe according to the era. Movie fans or movie lovers out there and wanna be a vintage ladies so you can totally use the movie as an inspiration moving to my third step is your favorite part which is shopping <laughs> girls love shopping of course we can't deny that we love shopping but at the same time we have to choose wisely too what does it mean choose wisely you have to choose 
to spend according to your personal budget. If you have the financial ability, you can choose to spend on the vintage branded clothing. But if you are a student like me, facing some financial problem in your life, you can definitely go for the trip shop or the pre-love item, which I love the most, most of my time. Because I don't have the financial ability, but at the same time, I wish that I can enjoy the quality of clothing. Bundles, trip shop, pre-love shop is totally a very accurate choice for the one who have financial problem, but at the same time, want to enjoy the quality of clothing. And lastly, is that you have to adapt a new you and make me embrace this new norm in your life. Yes, we are changing to a new wardrobe from the old one to a vintage one, which are a new wardrobe. From my experience that you're gonna face a lot of people around you maybe they can give you a compliment or maybe they're not but you can just try to adapt it just embrace whatever this make you comfortable if you have compliment receive it if you don't have never mind because you're just enjoying yourself in this life so it doesn't matter because we are not focusing on others but focusing on ourselves i hope that this video can help you out on how do you choose on how to start your vintage wardrobe and i hope that i will see you on my next video and goodbye